Hi, it's Miranda. Today I have pizza. I'm in New York and I have pizza. Always. So, <laughs> you want me to move this blanket? Here, hold on. There you go. Okay, so now you have a nice view. So I have pizza. I got two slices of Sicilian and we got two slices of Neapolitan, well, the grandma slices, but um, I'm only gonna eat one and a half. My husband doesn't eat very much. He ordered something else too, but he wanted me to save him some of that. The reason why I decided to get pizza though, and I apologize if this annoys anybody because apparently it's annoying to some people. Life is fun sometimes. What I was going to say is, I'm sorry that this is annoying to some people. But my losing weight, I actually don't like how it looks in some places. Namely my face and my neck. I don't like it. Um, and just all together, I, I think I just need to put on just a little bit. I feel like I've been running around a lot too, so it's been, I've been having a hard time maintaining. I figured why not eat, since I am in New York, some food, hopefully, that will help me out. And you know what? New York pizza is really good. This place is really good. It's called Monica. Mm-hmm. That's good. Some people um, fold, some people eat it flat. Honestly, I don't have a particular style that I always do. Depends on the pizza, depends on the day. Sometimes I eat, will eat with a knife and fork because why not? When I was younger, I, I didn't like, I don't like tomatoes very much. I don't like raw tomatoes. If they're in my sandwich and they're thin enough, I'll just eat them now. If they're in my salad, just eat them. But if it's something that I can like just take out, I'll take it out. When I was younger, I, I really hated them. And so much so that I thought I hated tomato sauces. I didn't know. So I would eat, you know, butter noodles, stuff like that. But for some reason, when we got pizza, I didn't like the way the cheese looked, so I peeled the cheese off, but I'd eat the bread with the sauce on it. I don't remember, actually, when it overlapped. Eventually, I'm sure I was just like, wait, hmm. That stuff tastes really good on the bread. Maybe. It'll taste really good. On pasta. My life was forever changed by the way. I love pizza, but I could eat pasta probably every day. Some form version of it. If that time I have to sit and chat is when I'm eating. Maybe like when it's a New York food or something like that. Or something interesting like, oh, I really wanted to do burritos. It's this place that puts the burger and the fries inside of a burrito. With just like regular burger fixing. Spicy sauce. Sometimes I switch that out for barbecue sauce and I put pickles. I've ever seen a couple of people on YouTube actually make burrito burgers. And every time they've done it, I've been like, yeah, there's a place on Long Island that makes burritos like that and they're so good and their their other stuff is really good too they have tasty stuff <sighs> keeps you on your toes i was just trying to say that maybe i'll do like bagels new york things this is already getting cold so i know that's cold that's a shame to reheat pizza sometimes it's just easy to stick it in the toaster oven on the tray Put it on the lowest toast. Just warm it up a little bit. Or the second one, if you think it can handle it. You don't want to burn the top. So this is the Sicilian. 
which is basically squared. This is what's called the Sicilian pie around here. I don't know if that's called something else. I don't know what's colloquial. Um, I'm sure I could look it up, but I'm recording on my phone, and so I can't really... I want to stop recording. You see, this is very saucy. But this is one of those times I don't mind. This is nice sauce. I'm being serious, these are really good. Monaco's, good stuff. New York pizza. My hair is doing some weird things. There was one place we got from once that had, um, the sauce was really, it was tart. It was like vinegar. It was, it was good, but it had a little too much vinegar. We were just like, what is going on? It might have been balsamic. All I know was just, it was too much in the sauce. It was really good. This one's a little bit sweeter. I like it a little bit more. And I don't like very sweet sauce. There's a place called Vincent's. And they actually, they sell their sauce too. Vincent's Clam Bar. The place is so good. For some reason, their house sauce, which is very popular, and I can see why it is, it is sweet. And you can get it like a little spicier and stuff. Really good. But for some reason, I always seem to go for the marinara, which is also in that place very delicious. Um, I think I'm one of the minority when it comes to that because I often, it just, I have opposite problems. So. You know, honestly, I think I've probably talked long enough. I just really wanted to share the fact that I was eating some tasty pizza. I also have rice pudding, but I don't think that would be that interesting. Let's go watch me have some rice pudding. Yay. Rice pudding. I made that in the, the crock pot. Unfortunately, Abby, my, my beautiful sidekick, um... She got a little upset when she heard Donovan cry before. Sometimes you need these times to, to appreciate the others. Sometimes I really don't know what to say. Sometimes it's better to just... Bye. That I make fun of the fact with my husband about how a lot of cooking shows, when they're describing how things taste, they just describe all of the things, because how else do you do that through TV? It's just like, oh, the, the breadiness of the bread, stretch of the cheese, taste of the tomato, oh, and the salt and the pepper. I'm exaggerating, but like, 